Hello everyone. Today we've got a very special piece of hardware to review, and I've been waiting for this for a long time. I can't wait to see what this thing can do. But um, either way, this thing, you can see that it is from China, it is from Hong Kong, and um, let's just go ahead and get this over with and open this up already. Let's see. I have to be delicate with this because it is pretty fragile. Let's see. Minute. But yeah, this is pretty fragile, so I don't want to damage it. So I'm trying to be as delicate as I can, try not to puncture the inside of it. But you know what? Why do why do Chinese companies always use this kind of tape? Like they always make a box and then they tape it all together with this weird, ugly brown tape. I I have no clue why they do that, but it does seem to be something that they all do. Let's see. Alright. Oh, <laughs> this is cool. Alright, we can get this out now. Wow. <laughs> As you can see, this comes from our Dew Boy. And let's see. This is actually part of a Kickstarter project, but this is not my Kickstarter reward. This is something that I bought separately. So try and be delicate with this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's see this. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, <laughs> look at this. This is an Ardu Boy dev kit, and um, we'll talk about that in just a minute. But as you can see, the Ardu Boy. This is sort of like a little Game Boy, a, a little tiny Game Boy, which um, uh, it works on a battery. Uh, the final product that I ordered on Kickstarter, uh, it will not have a external coin battery like that, but it's a little Arduino, uh, I don't know what you would call it, uh, uh, kit, computer, whatever you want to call it, and it's shaped like a Game Boy, and so you see this, this is not the way that it's going to look when, um, when my Kickstarter reward comes in, this is a dev kit, it's very bare bones and everything, and uh, oh, I can't believe it, this is going to, I hope this is going to be really cool. Um, I don't actually know how to use it, though, because I'm probably the worst person you could ever give a dev kit to. Um, basically, I got this, uh, I followed this on Kickstarter, because uh, I saw this product and I was like, wow, that's really cool. And uh, the finished product, it looks a lot more like a Game Boy. They're definitely going with that for inspiration. And um, anyways, there were some tiers that would give you a dev kit, but I did not choose a tier with a dev kit. I actually chose a... Uh, I just chose the tier which would give me the unit I got in early bird. So I think I paid 29 bucks for it and shipping would be 5 bucks. But then later on when they were shipping out dev kits, they said, "Hey, we actually made more dev kits than we need. So we're actually going to sell these for 50 bucks a pop to anybody who wants them." So that's why I went ahead and got one because really 50 bucks, I don't see that as a lot of money at least <laughs> to say that I have a dev kit now. And oh, the, this thing it just looks brilliant. I it's a great size. I mean, this is really just the size of a credit card. And that's one of the things that they're going for. They're saying that, you know, like, hey, this is a console you can put in your wallet. And um, oh, I I'm just amazed by this. I I'm kind of speechless right now. But the quality is actually much better than I thought. Uh, as you saw, I was really, really hesitant to, you know, use any force or anything on the package because I was like, geez, I don't want to bend or break this. But it actually does seem to be pretty good quality. This is like PCB board. I, I thought it was like some kind of cardboard type thing. That's what it looks like. But no, this actually does seem to have some really good quality. Wow. Uh, of course, it doesn't have like the, you know, the touchpad and the buttons. Um, these are all just tiny little micro switches. But oh, this is just great. And uh, the dev kit, apparently, it has a, a few differences uh, from the. Um, from the completed product that they're going to be shipping later. And from what they tell us, they are pretty much on schedule with delivery. Every Kickstarter project, for especially for hardware, it's always delayed. And um, so the Ardu Boy, I think they're maybe delayed by a, a month or so. I don't think they've given a firm date of when all of them are going to go out. Uh, they did give an estimate, though, uh, a few weeks prior. They said that I think everybody would get them by Christmas or something. But um, either way, so it seems that they might be coming in a little bit late, but not drastically, not like, you know, half a year late or anything. And uh, the finish unit, though, 
like I said, it takes a lot of inspiration from the Game Boy, so it doesn't have the power switch over here. It has it on top, you know, like a old Game Boy. And um, I also got the regular unit. They they gave you some options after uh, after funding was completed as far as like what you wanted to get, and it was pretty cool because uh, their color schemes they mirrored the um, the uh, Play It Loud series of Game Boy. How they would have different colored PCBs, but the um, but the buttons they were all black. But the one that I went for was just the original one. I just wanted it exactly as it looked in the Kickstarter pitch with uh, with a white PCB and uh, with black control pad and red buttons. And they actually do listen to the backers because for a little while they were even uh, they made an update which said that uh, I think that they wanted all the buttons to be black. So in other words, there wouldn't be any red buttons. That way they could just simplify things. But then... Some people, including me, were on there saying, no, we want to get the red buttons uh, on here so it looks like a Game Boy. And so they relented. They were just like, okay, the masses, uh, the masses have spoken. They want to get the red buttons, so we'll go ahead and keep that. And uh, but still, this looks really cool. And like I said, the uh, final version, it will not use a coin battery. It's going to use a rechargeable battery pack. And uh, anyway, so the point of this whole thing uh, is that it is very, very easy to program, or at least they say it will be. And uh, you could just run very simple games on here. And um, that's one of the things I really like. If you, this thing, it's not pushing any limits or anything of, uh, of how games are going to be made. Uh, in fact, it seems like it's almost a step back. These, these games, they would make a graphing calculator blush, you know. It's, uh, it's just incredible stuff I've seen so far. <laughs> Somebody made a, uh, a clone of Oregon Trail, I think. <laughs> And also, I've seen little screenshots of, like, Pokemon clones and stuff like that. Just really cool stuff that they've been able to um, to get running on this thing, or they're trying to get running on this thing right now. Um, but yeah, I just bought this because, like I said, it's cheap, and I wanted to get it before anybody else. Uh, just because I've been following this with, with so much fascination that once I saw a dev kit was available, I went ahead and uh, just, just paid for it right there. Take my money. But um, either way, let me see if I can get this thing up and running, and then hopefully we can see what it can do. Alright guys, I've been enjoying my Ardoboy dev kit, and I think it's actually pronounced Ardoboy. I don't know, I've heard different pronunciations, but the guy who actually made it, uh, he says that it is Ardoboy. Or at least when I saw a video with him, that's what he called it. But either way, you turn it on by just flicking the switch, and your game is on there. It only saves one game at a time, I don't know if that's a limitation of uh, Arduino or what's going on there, but um, either way, so I wish that they could improve that, maybe on an Ardu Boy 2 or something, they could do it. Aha! I'm pretty good at this game, I hope. But, um, anyway, so uh, for the rest of this, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys almost like a quick start guide as far as how to set this up once you get your unit, because um, even though this is a dev kit, it is actually the same. Cool! I cleared the stage. Uh, it is actually the same as what you're going to see uh, once you get the actual full production unit that, you know, is all well put together and not all shoddy like this. But um, let me go ahead and show you how that works right now. Alright guys, the tutorial that I'm using, I got it from the Arduboy uh, community and it was made by a guy named Rossum. Uh, apparently his name is Mike. But um, anyway, so that's where I got these steps from, and I'm just basically condensing it down to a video so it's a little bit easier to use. Uh, he used Windows 8.1, I'm using Windows 10 and it still works. Uh, there's also Mac OS uh, instructions if you have a Mac. But anyways, you need to start out by downloading two files, and first you need to download the Arduino software, and uh, then you need to install the uh, Arduino like master file. Um, and that can be found on the GitHub, and you just download it right there. Go ahead and plug in your Artaboy. God, I'm using like five different pronunciations of Arduino. But um, anyway, so go ahead and plug that in. Uh, it will turn on, and you know what? I recommend just keep it on because at least a couple times when I plugged it in, like it'll just beep constantly. So uh, it probably makes sense to turn that on and then uh, plug it in. As you can see in this folder, I've already installed the Arduino app right here, and also I have the Arduboy Master folder that I went ahead and downloaded, and I've extracted it. However, make sure that you keep the zip file in there because you're going to need that later. Anyways, let's go ahead and run the Arduino app. And then we're going to go into Tools, 
and where you see board you're going to want to make sure this says Arduino Leonardo and then for port I have COM port 3 that might be different for you though um, because you need to make sure to tell it uh, which USB port the uh, Arduino is uh, Arduino Boy is connected to so for mine it just happens to be COM port 3 if you don't know which port the Arduino Boy is connected to go into your device manager and that should be able to tell you go into the ports right here and as you can see I have the Arduino Leonardo connected to COM port 3 that's how I knew that it was going to be port um, COM port 3 that that was going to connect to right there and now you want to you want to correlate the zip file so that this way it knows where to look for those master files go into include library add zip library and then you're going to go into our do boy and that's where I have the our do boy master selected right there so anyways go ahead and open that and then that'll tell it where where that's supposed to be and that's it for setting it up so now it knows where everything is and you could start installing stuff let's get out of here and now let's go back into the folder that I have right here and let's go ahead and switch out a game um, let's go into games uh, let's install this one okay this is uh, reverse mermaid hockey <laughs> so <laughs> this is actually a pretty cool game um, go ahead and click on this Ardu boy file right here anyway so here's the file and everything don't mess with anything um, you could go ahead and verify it right here to make sure that the file is okay but I say just go ahead and click upload because the only thing that verification does is it compiles it and um, it's gonna have to compile anyways as you can see uh, when you go ahead and upload it and as you can see on the Ardu boy it's gonna beep pretty soon and light up there you go alright magic is happening as evidenced by the blue light and there we go now we've got reverse mermaid hockey right here Turn it on. There we go. Alright, this is really, really weird. <laughs> this is one of the coolest games I've seen uh, on here so far. Um, it's made by the studio. Uh, God, I don't have their name right now. Uh, I'm sure that's going to be on the tile screen. But uh, I want to give them a little shout out right here because they are making some really cool stuff on on the Ardu Boy. Uh, you, can, you can probably bet that they're going to have some really cool stuff coming out. Um, they also made this other like blob game, which is like one of those Connect Four puzzle uh, type things. I don't mean Connect Four like the board game, but I um, uh, I think there was I don't know I I know that I have a game that's very similar to that on the Bandai Wonder Swan, and uh, they made a pretty good pretty good one. Yay, we won, and now we've come back to a real mermaid or switched. I I don't know this this game has no plot. All right, I looked it up, and the devs that made this game they're called Team ARG. And I'm really looking forward to what they could do with this Ardu Boy because they're making some incredible stuff for it already. And um, either way, the games are free. Uh, they're all freeware as of right now. And uh, I think that was the intention of uh, doing the whole Ardu Boy and making it open source and everything. But um, either way, so I'm really looking forward to what else uh, we could find on this thing. And as far as what I could do on this thing, I can't really do much because, of course, I'm a dunce. But uh, I am trying to learn how to code, so this is actually serving as really good motivation for me as far as uh, continuing with, with uh, those studies in my free time. But uh, hopefully I can make something cool for this thing in the, fu in the far future. But uh, either way, it's time for me to earn my wings. But I'll go ahead and update you guys with other stuff that I find for this. And um, also if you're a dev and you want me to try out your game or feature it, go ahead and let me know. And so I'm really cool with devs like that. So. Just let me know and I will show off your, your masterpiece. Either way, see you guys later.